that has talent, that that has that, you know, different alpha male mindset, but also knows what he's talking about. They feel threatened by that. And what I'm trying to tell everybody and what I'm saying right now on your show, I'm only for helping people. I'm only for the positive energy and the positive vibes, and I want Pitt to do well. But I want you to learn from the past so you, su so you can succeed in the future. Yeah, yeah. And I think you're certainly a great person to help pass that message along to current Pitt athletes. Uh, and, and it sounds like it might not be reciprocated right now by, by, by the Panthers uh, staff. But I'm not, I'm not here to make assumptions, man. I'm here to talk about you and uh, your glory days and the return to prominence with this Pitt team. I know you're doing a lot of good things off the court, man, including uh, this really cool YouTube channel you got. And you're doing some you're – st you're still hooping in some capacity, right? You're teaching some kids. And, yes. and talk about your own kids who are, who are getting into basketball now, I'm sure, right? Well, I'm just pretty much – I'm in, in development stages of helping people, like, on the road, starting camps abroad, getting my Respect My Journey training – on the road, you know, a lot of people want me to do camps. They want to know the pricing of different things. And I just want to be there for them. I want to be able to consistently be there for them. So there isn't any stain in my name because I take this serious and I want the development of these players. It doesn't matter where you come from. I want it to be a great experience and the respect my journey, you know, that is more than a podcast. That is really from my heart, my blood, sweat, and tears. And that was something I vowed to continue through the passing of my mother, Joyria Mays, and the growing of my son, Jaden Krauser. And I understood I had to be a better person and more consistent and more positive in their lives and other people, my family's life, lives, so I can help other people. So with, mm -hmm. with becoming a personal trainer in Dallas, Texas, with becoming a personal trainer out here in Pittsburgh, that, you know, it, it, broadened, it broadened my horizons with just as far as like mm -hmm. health and education. But at the same time, I knew that a lot of basketball players were lacking different skill sets. And they like even just even just say just your muscular set. A lot of these kids, they are very thin. They are very thin, and I, I I don't understand if you have a buff weight trainer or if you have a a, a real buff uh, kind of you know just a diesel guy sitting there. Why wouldn't why wouldn't that show on the players? Why are there so many slim players? You understand? They need Antunes pizza. I'm telling you, man. If they want pepperonis, get it. Double cheese, get it. Stop playing. You can split it. You can do it. Give an assist, man. But literally, I just, you know, some of these some of these players, like, they don't understand the time clock situation at the end of the game. Some of these players don't know how to win. Some of these players don't know when to give it to the guy that's side. Some of these players don't really understand their plays to run again to get that other player open after he just scored. Or to uplift somebody after, you know, they're down. Or if, the, and, the, and I want to just see from the different coaches, I want to see every coach in America, I want to see you have... Your, your, your players, while you're on the side, I'm going to see your players up. I don't want to hear just because it's COVID, you can't stand up. That's that's not the truth. That isn't the truth. Like, you can stand up and help your teammates. Remember how it was? Everybody gets up and cheer your teammate on. That's how it was. Support your team. You yeah. get me? So I, I, I want to see more camaraderie. I want to see more teamwork. I want to see more passion and heart. I want to see more player development in the game of basketball, but I just want to see people more passionate and appreciative of what they're doing. All good stuff from a pet icon. Hey, man, we got hundreds of listeners out there, you know, obviously open, open for thousands uh, on this particular podcast because Pitt is hot right now. Tell them where they can find you right now. Subscribe to your YouTube channel, right? Yes, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Carl Krauser. You also can find me on IG and Facebook on Carl BX Krauser. It's all salute, all positive energy to the University of Pittsburgh, to New York City and the Bronx, Bronxdale Projects, the Yenzers. Salute to y'all. Always love to Mike and Jordan. Thank you for having me on. Salute to everybody. And right over left, we the best. Thank you. Always love.
My guy, you can't see it right now, but we're both throwing up the X for you. I got you right back, baby. Salute, salute. <laughs> Thank you, RMJ, <laughs> to you boy. fellas. Hey, man, I appreciate you. We'll tag you on everything, okay? You got it. Always love. All right, brother. Be Peace. well, be well. Easy.